Words of honor, praise, and memories are pouring in from every corner of the state following the death of Arizona's first female governor, Rose Mofford. She was 94 years old. Mofford took over the governor's office in 1988 after then-Governor Evan Meekum was impeached. Mofford spent 51 years working in state government. Her name and image are already memorialized for breaking the glass ceiling in Arizona politics. Yet all the while, those who knew her say she stayed humble. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. You don't have time to listen to them all. Governor Doug Ducey shared in a statement, quote, Rose Mofford's story is a truly unique Arizona story. Rising through the ranks of state government to our state's top office, she shattered a once thought unbreakable glass ceiling and served as an unparalleled role model to many. She was nothing short of an Arizona treasure and will be deeply missed. Senator John McCain also issued a statement saying, quote, she rose above the partisanship and brought Republicans and Democrats together to make Arizona stronger and more prosperous. She did so with good humor and undeniable grace. She will remain an inspiring and cherished figure in Arizona, a state that loved her just as much as she loved it. A longtime Mofford friend says the former governor died this morning at a hospice she entered last month after being hurt in a fall. She had been a regular at state events and community lunch hours right up until her injury. Before her political path took her to the highest office in the state, Mofford worked in the Arizona Treasurer's Office, the Tax Commission, and Arizona Highways Magazine. She became Assistant Secretary of State in 1953 and Secretary of State in 1975. As governor, she oversaw the creation of Arizona's first statewide drug prevention resource center. She was also the first woman elected director of the Central Arizona Water Board. But Mofford's story first began to take shape in Globe, Arizona, where she started her career as a political trailblazer as the first female student body president of Globe High School. Cronkite News reporter Carla Liriano joins us there live. I'm here in front of Globe High School. Mofford, I'm here in front of Globe High School, Mofford's alma mater, where she graduated in the class of 1940. About half a dozen people came here today to remember the former governor and her time in Globe. They say she got roses every year for her birthday and was known for her softball skills. Um, her picture still hangs in the Globe High School Hall of Fame, and we'll be out here to talk to more people in this community about her legacy, and we'll have that for you on Cronkite News in the days to come. In Globe, Carla Liriano, Cronkite News. Cronkite News will continue to track the response to the death of former Governor Rose Mofford, and there's much more to come on Arizona Horizon immediately following our newscast. If you'd like to share your memories with our news team, go to cronkitenews.azpbs.org.